You know what it is? It's someone with a video camera for an eye. Nelson, why do you think... Where did you find it? At the Five and Dime, on East um, 9th that Patrick Conseil works at. Well, this is a, this is a sculpture of me. Of you. I had the mustache to make it look more like me. Now hold it up to your face so we can get a picture of you. Aww, it does. It looks like, it looks like me with the camera. Like Nelson, oh. I didn't know you weren't oh. cut. All I get is a dial to... This this is my personal phone bill. This is what I'm looking for. St. Luke's Roosevelt welcoming pamphlet here. Don't sit on my operation. The link says, when calling, do not dial first billing yourself, but to make calls outside the hospital for local, you know, dial eight. Wait for the, okay. But you're, you're not calling local. Don't, I'm but dial direct, Nelson. It's a lot cheaper. Dial direct, Nelson. It's cheaper. Now, Dick, if you backed up, you could use the Zoom and get Albert and me and my sculpture. I don't mean to be cranky, but I just came from <laughs> surgery. <laughs> Oh, this is ridiculous. Why should I have to pay for this telephone? They charge me $4.25 a day for this telephone. What? Yes, this the operator? I want to make a collect call to South Carolina. The number is uh, 803-475-4235. Mm-hmm. Four seven five. Four two three five. Nelson. I hope they collect I hope they accept the charges. I'm calling my mother and Aunt Nancy. And Dick's mother may be there. They probably moved. Hello. All right. 
Yeah. Did uh, my stomach hurts, but it's more because I'm hungry than I am because it's got stitches in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to watch TV all night. I'm going to stay up and have a good time. A sleeping pill. Dick and Albert. Did Miss Richards come to see you today? Oh, it's too bad I didn't call when she was there, but I just got back to my room. I've been in recovery. Yeah. Yeah, they all been milling around. Michael went out to get something to eat. Mark and Beverly just left. And Dick and Albert are still here. And they're going to bring me something to eat. The hospital's bringing me something to eat. But i got to have something to eat. Because I couldn't eat anything for two days. Nancy. Fine, how are you doing? Your postcard? I don't think so. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, well, I feel all right. My stitches are a little sore, yeah. Other than that, I'm perfectly happy. Mm-hmm. Not, not yet. No, I'm trying to keep from hiccuping because it really hurts. I mean, I had the hiccup. I am hungry, yeah, I'm very hungry because I haven't had anything to eat for two days. I had a little supper last night, but that's all. Because I couldn't eat or drink anything all day long. But it hasn't been bad. Everybody's been very nice here at the hospital. And uh, I miss you, though. Oh, thank you, Nancy. And uh, Mark and Beverly just left, and my friends Michael and Albert and Dick are all here. I will. They'll have to leave soon, because visiting hours will be over. But uh, it's good to talk to you. Oh, I know. I'll be just fine. I don't even, you know, the, the thing I dreaded most about it was the spinal shot. And for six months, I dreaded having the spinal shot, you know? And uh, I didn't worry about anything, the operation or anything else, but the spinal shot. And then, the funny thing is, I can't even remember getting the spinal shot. I don't even remember when they gave it to me, so... I was scared for nothing. But anyway, nice to talk to you, Nancy. I better... Oh, thank you. Okay, you have you enjoy your visit. Okay. Great. I'll call you again. Yeah. Yeah, I can't get out of bed tonight. Yeah, and reclined. Mm-hmm. I will. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. We'll call you again in a couple of days. Yeah, okay. Uh, good night. Oh, my mother's so sweet. Did you have a nice talk with your mother, Nelson? Somebody come sit over here. Somebody has to interview me. Hey, me, oh. and my, me and Michael will interview for 6 TV. Remember, though, please. All right. Here, okay, Dick. we're going to hear Dick. the entire... Shut up, this Nelson. Is for Dick's the show. entire story. Listen, Dick, 
this is for Dick's show, so just let's what start it the first. Okay. It means it's recording. Is it blinking? It blinked off. It means it blinked off, then you probably have it's back on. Again. It's on there. Power. Okay. It means there's not enough light. You're recording at Michael's chair. Sure. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Alright, now try to do this with some sort of Formal structure, okay. please. Yes. I'm we are to okay. Okay. Dick, 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 dick. Now, Dick, dick if you get back, if you one. get back a little, dick. you could zoom in. Dick, dick, dick. If you got back a little, so okay, that you the sound wouldn't be as good. If you turn that down, it's on the top. We want to have ambient noise. Okay, Nelson is well, babbling on morphine. Ignore everything. Full of ambient noise. Okay. Yeah. Let's ignore what he says. Okay, me and Michael are here at Roosevelt Hospital, and we are with. Patient Nelson oh. Sullivan. He's just come out of the recovery room. He is still drugged from the anesthesia, so everything he says will be the truth. Let's start. Mr. Sullivan, Mr. Sullivan, tell us about, first of all, about the fleet enema with which they cleanse your system to prepare for the operation. How did it feel? Did well, fleets are different than other enemas, Michael. Because there's a certain sort of chemical flavor to the fluids. When most of them just sort of have a neutral, neutral flavor. I don't want an air conditioner. I want video equipment. I don't want an air conditioner. That battery went dead, and now I'm home from the hospital. Dick is taking the dog out for a walk. I think uh, some more visitors are on the way. I got some nice flowers, cheap but pretty. Now I believe Dick is downstairs with the dog. Yes, there they are. They're on Atlanta time. Dick's been helping me out. See, he's walking the dog. He's going to see Hope Nichols tonight on the Staten Island Ferry. Fetching bones. So, I'm here trying to recuperate. And I'm waiting for more phone calls, more visitors. Michael, Albert, Liz's kids, James St. James, they were all over last night. Who else? Seems like someone else, but I can't remember who right now. And Dick's been making everyone's sandwiches. It's been very good. I've been watching RuPaul's movies and different things. So, I'm going to turn this off now and Maybe read the times for a minute. Pam's on her way over here. and I'll turn it back on when I have some company, right? See you later.